Okay, hey everybody. This is time for a little demonstration on how to hoop a hat. So, in my hand here I've got a baseball hat. It doesn't really matter which type you have. This one happens to be a trucker style hat with the mesh on the back, but whether it's got clips or a strap or is fitted, sewing the front of the hat pretty much works the same for all hats. So we're gonna start with our little mounting bracket here, which mimics what we would see on the sewing machine over there. Um, these little metal tabs and stuff, and then that little cutout piece, they're all there to align and make sure this snaps together properly. And we would have the same things on the sewing machine. This metal ring that I'm holding here is the hoop for a hat, and it will snap right onto the ring. You can see that we've got a little metal cutout here to show exactly where it should line up. And if I snap forward, it'll all be held into place firmly. These little metal tabs hold it. The red line that's cut into this little part here is to indicate where the center should be. It's also mimicked here on the back of the mounting brick. Next up, we've got to uh, get our hat ready and our backing ready. So there's a couple of things that we'll need to prep for that. Backing can go onto the hoop first, and it's gonna fit into the hoop just beneath that metal tab. I have it nice and centered so it's ready to have the hat put over the top of it. And when we do, this backing, which helps hold the threading and everything together, will be right up against the inner surface of the hat where the stitching's going on. Now, as far as the hat goes, Pretty much all hats will have a little sweatband on the inside which we need to fold outward before we mount it onto the hoop. So I've got that folded away and not the way it would look when you're wearing the hat. When I bring it over to the machine, I make sure that that sweatband gets tucked underneath the metal tab here and then I can slide it forward like so. Now from exactly above, you should be able to see whether the red line here is in line with the center of the hat or not. And that's helpful because it will be in the right spot when we take it over the sewing machine. The metal band here is going to hold everything together. And when we clamp it down, it's actually going to rotate the hat a little bit to the right. So before I drape the metal thing across, I typically start with this line that shows the center of the front of the hat, or the crown, I have it a little bit to the left of our red line for the center here, because I know that it's gonna shift position slightly. Okay, when draping the metal thing across, we wanna make sure that the little teeth sink into the gap where the bill of the hat meets the crown of the hat. And they should be in that gap all the way across. So you do wanna kinda of like carefully guide those things in, because if they're not, then the hat could slip and change positions while it's sewing. Over here on the far right side, there's a little metal tab to guide it, a little latch where it can catch, and then you tighten it down. When you do, the hat did shift slightly, and from above, it was pretty close. The red line is almost perfectly centered with the center of the hat, and we're ready to take it over to the sewing machine. So to remove, we press in on these little metal tabs. That releases it to be slid off here, and the hat is hooped and ready to go. You can also check to verify on the inside that the backing is covering the entire area where your graphic will be sewn. And that's how you hoop a hat. Hey everybody, I've got my hooped hat ready to go and we're gonna be attaching it to the sewing machine and getting it ready to start sewing a graphic. So, what we do here is we start by placing the hat sideways because, you know, the bill would get in the way of the needle casing. So we have to make sure that passes behind the needle casing first and then we can rotate it up to its actual position. On the back, we can still see the same little metal cutouts and little locking tabs that we saw over at our mounting bracket. And when we push this thing on here, we want to be careful to not uh, unclip our little tab here, because that sometimes happens and is annoying because you'd have to go back and redo that. It's in the right spot. When you go to push forward, don't push on the hat itself, but push on the metal edges, and the, that will push the ring forward. There is a little spot down at the bottom of the metal ring that I feel like is helpful to push on to make sure that it moves forward evenly and then it'll snap into place. To make sure that it's locked in, you can pull outward on these tabs just to make sure they fully clicked into their spots. And then we're ready to check out if the hat is ready to sew. This time, we're already on needle one on our control panel. And so if I push needle one down, we can check to see how my alignment is for the graphic that I want to sew. Looks like it's just a little bit out of alignment, so I can adjust that with my frame position arrows. 
in this case, I want the needle to seem like it's in the exact center from top to bottom of the front panel of the hat. At the moment, I think it looks a little bit high up, so I'm gonna move the hat closer to me slightly, and then we can check to see how the graphic would fit onto the front of the hat by hitting the trace button. So I will click that now, and then we can watch to see how the graphic would fit. From what I just saw here, it looks like the graphic would be nice and centered, so I could, in theory, just uh, choose the right needles and settings on the file up in our control panel here and start it up and we'd have a graphic on our hat.